Hello YouTube! This video is all about what political science is and is not about, clearing up some misconceptions people have about the topic. So, what is political science? Most people think it's the study of politics, which makes sense, but is wrong. Kind of. Let's start with understanding what politics is and go from there. The word politics comes from the Greek word politica, meaning the affairs of cities. In turn, the study of politics is all about how people make decisions that apply to members of their group. Over time, the sizes of these groups grew from the primitive city-states in ancient Greece, like Sparta and Athens, to nation-states, like Canada and the UK. At its core, the study of politics is all about understanding how people allocate the power to control their population, usually through elections, and the different types of systems in place for accomplishing this. Political science does include the study of politics, but it doesn't end there. Political science branches off into many different fields, like economics, finance, and psychology. Analyzing the relationship between politics and these other fields through a scientific lens. Ergo, utilizing the scientific method to come to conclusions on politics through the creation of hypotheses and experiments based on previous theories. Political science attempts to bridge the gap between what humans have historically done and what humans will eventually do by creating frameworks to fit events into in the hopes of not only explaining the past but predicting the future. Which, admittedly, has proven to be quite difficult to do, but I hear they're working on it. When creating hypotheses, political scientists will frequently utilize some previous frameworks to ground their hypothesis in, and attempt to expand the field from there by adding their research results into the mix. One of the main differences between the study of politics and political science is the approach people within the field take when publishing their results. An example one of my professors in university had told me about was an op-ed article by a prominent writer, Thomas Friedman. Thomas had written an article about the Iran nuclear deal, where in it he had advised the incoming Secretary of State, John Kerry, on how to approach Iran with some quite drastic plans that would break all the rules, blah blah blah. The point of the paper was that the American government needed to do something new that would change the game. Another columnist by the name of Daniel Dresner called Friedman out on his own piece, and basically called his article bullshit. I'll be linking both of them below if you want to take a look. He cited inconsistencies he found within the paper, and at one point even called it satire. Now, both of these columnists were just spouting opinions. There was no real credibility here, they didn't really have any sources, this is just what they thought was true. Now these were not political scientists. My professor had contrasted these two with a piece by two political scientists. Uh, I think their names were Lisa Blades and Drew Linder. Linfer? L Linzer? I Linzer. Drew Linzer. And this was published in the American Political Science Review. This piece had utilized statistics and survey data from many reputable sources and was enhanced with another analysis on media freedom to come to a conclusion in their research paper. Now, the difference that was highlighted to us was made clear. You can study politics all you want, but it's not science if you don't use the scientific method which, looking back, that should have been a lot more obvious to all of us who failed his political analysis class, but I digress. So, in conclusion, the differences between the study of politics and political science come down not only to the scope of what you're studying, but how you're studying the data. In future videos, I'm going to try to cover topics such as the main political science theories and how they apply to different fields. Till next time, this was What the Politics.